What's up, pro gun bullies and magnum packing patriots? This is the Tap Rack Bang Show. I'm Ryan Frazier, and riding shotgun with me, as always, is the tactical tackle, Tyler Witzke. What up, my dude? Oh, just uh, protecting your Second Amendment freedoms. Thank you. Yeah. Much, much obliged. Yeah, yeah, and if you folks back home want to be a pro gun bully today and give Joe Biden a pantsing in front of Kamala Harris, I pulled your pants down. Go ahead and uh, hit that like button, and after you're done, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the Liberty Bell and sound the alarm of freedom every time a Tap Rack Bang podcast drops. Also, we still be giving away these free stickers. We got a lot of them. Yeah. And that's right, they free. Yeah, we got about a million of these, so uh, please sign up to get one because we, <coughs> we, we don't need them. Yeah. You need them. You need them. Slap them on your sister, as Fraser would say. So mm-hmm. All up on her. Yeah, or on your water bottle, your gun safe. Put it on her mouth. <laughs> so... Don't forget to click the link in the description. Go get yours. We also got links in there to become mm-hmm. a frontline defender. You also help out the show, help mm. help out the organization, mm. and uh, mm. as well as our foundation. You know, um, gun rights are being attacked from all fronts, so we need yeah. we need the help in the courts and everything. And uh, that's about it. So go visit all the links in the description and help us out. Yeah, and speaking of the assault on our gun rights, um, Tyler ain't kidding when he says on all fronts. Um, we told you last week about the 135 Republican congressmen and the House of Representatives who voted for the National uh, Defense Authorization Act, or NDAA, that was riddled with a um, bunch of gun control bullshit, specifically red flag gun confiscation targeted at our nation's military. Um Keep in mind that this this is a bill that they would vote for if it didn't have gun control in it. Mm-hmm. But we were the ones that sounded the alarm, you know, made sure our members knew, our supporters like you guys knew. And then all of a sudden, all these Republicans are like, oh, we need to pass it to get the gun control out of the bill. And it's, it's a vote for gun control. That's it, Absolutely, it, it was a vote for gun control. They want cover. And they ain't going to find it here, as I've said on this show before. If they want sympathy, they can find it in the dictionary between shit and syphilis. Amen. And we think there's nothing better to do than to dispatch the uh, pro-gun bullies who tune into our show. So for the rest of this podcast, we'll have a crawl on the bottom of the screen telling you the name of every House Republican who voted wrong on the red flag version of the National Defense Authorization Act. We're also right now flashing the um, Capitol Hill switchboard. So you call that number up and be directed to whether or not, if it's your congressman, you better call him. But if it's a congressman that you think needs to hear a piece of your mind, call him up. So call that switchboard, be directed to these congressmen, and you know, let them know that gun owners are paying attention to their anti-gun votes. So stay tuned to the bottom of the screen here. And look for your congressmen, see how they voted. And uh, that's going to be what this show is about today. And the rest of the show is going to be real low-key. We're just chilling here. I got to dip in. <laughs> just a couple of guys being dudes. Yep. We got some cool guns behind us we're going to play with and talk about. But this this episode's about the pro-gun bullies getting in the fight and uh, raising a ruckus there in Washington, D.C. So make your phone calls. Comment below if you've made them. That being said, we still got to play T-shirt time before yep. we do anything. Um it's t-shirt time and last week we kind of sort of teased that we're gonna have the steyer aug on the show and we asked you what carl from uh die hard was carrying and sure enough uh wayne durham commented below he got it right he was the first to get it right there were a lot of people who got it right um i'm pretty sure randy bounds wanted to say something <laughs> but he kicks too much ass and just kind of held himself back but good job wayne We'll uh, send you a message, and we'll get you your free National Association for Gun Rights t-shirt. We sent him a message. Oh, apparently we already did, so we're all over it. Nice. Enjoy your shirt, Wayne. Good job. Um, this week's question, I want to know Wyatt Earp's gun. You know, he's famous for carrying a pretty badass, really big revolver. Tell me what it is below. If you're the first one to get it right, we'll give you the same treatment as Wayne and give you a dope-ass free t-shirt sent directly to your door. Take a good look at him, Mike, because that's how you're going to end up. Can't and that does, it. yeah, can't, can't beat it. We'd we be giving all kinds of, what other what other uh, gun YouTube channel just gives out free crap like we do? I don't know too free many. Free and none, so congratulations to you folks for for tuning in. Yeah. But, um, yeah, want to play some guns? Yeah, what do we what got we, up first? Hmm. Well, we already teased the AUG. Why don't we bring that down yeah. and go over it? Um, 
We're definitely going to need to get some range time footage with these because we just got them in the office and we're both stoked to play with them. But for today, we're just going to diddle them. Clear, sure enough. Diddle them, talk about them, see what we feel, just kind of initial impressions. I've never shot this gun before. and No, neither have I. But it's very space age looking even for something it it is. in the 70s. It is. This is the, the Stare Aug. Stare? 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 Chambered in 5.56. Five, mm -hmm. It's a bullpup, obviously, so uh, it's very compact design, but um, it's got adjustable gas here, you know, in case mm -hmm. you want to run it suppressed or anything. Mm -hmm. And we topped it off with a little Trijicon MRO yeah. just to bring it bring it to the current age. I know. The, o the old school ones with the scope on yeah. it were pretty rad, but this is a bit more uh, 21st century here with right. the Trijicon on it. Right. And it's got this awesome folding four grip so to say um magazine design's pretty wild uh i know you want to give a little demonstration on a reload yeah that's that's awkward. my always been my one gripe with bullpups and i know some people love them some people hate them i think uh lefties aren't a fan because your ejection port would be right i'm trying to see how a lefty would even shoot would be like right up in your face but um to me the idea of reloading in my armpit is just super super not natural and if like you're doing a speed reload i don't even know how you can really get them to cross paths like i'm trying to just super i don't know yeah i'm not a fan of that but it's a little awkward cool design you want to show them how yeah. the barrel changes on it are super cool where you can go from a short barrel to a right. long barrel so you got a little little button lever thing here and what you want to do it takes a little bit of force you just push mm -hmm. that down it allows you to rotate the barrel and pull it out, and you just swap a new one in, yeah. push it down in, boom. It's modular. Done. So, it's very, kind of very cool design. Um, yeah. Creative. They, they do make a 300 blackout version, so if you want to change out to a 300 blackout mm -hmm. barrel, that'd be pretty simple because mm -hmm. you don't need to change the bolt. We also were looking, they make a, a 9 millimeter version, which... It would be fun to play with, but they call it their paratrooper model, which to me seems wild. Yeah. If I was a paratrooper, like, behind enemy lines, I wouldn't want a pistol caliber carbine. I don't want to be that close to all of the bad guys. Yeah. But, Ooh. Um, you could almost <laughs> HK slap it, but not quite, and I wish they would have thought of that, but it's eh, not quite. Especially if you got an optic, but mm -hmm. even if you don't, it just barely comes over the mm -hmm. uh, Pictini rail. It tucks in. So. Yeah. It's very well, cool, but... It, it does feel good, like, moving around with it's nice because you got so much of the, the girth of it toward the rear. Yeah, it's well balanced, girth too. and rear in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, balance, balance is fantastic. Like, really lightweight. Like, I imagine if you're on patrol and having to carry this all day long, it would be kind of a treat because it definitely carries very, very well. Um, feels good. Yeah, Nifty, it, but... I'd say if you haven't played with one, I would yeah, recommend I'm, it. I'm super excited to shoot it. But weapons design has come come mm -hmm. quite a ways. In yeah, the past definitely ahead 40, of its time. Years. But you know, some people love the bullpups. Yeah, um, I think that the Tavor is kind of the the new hotness for that. And we right. got um, Eric Jones, who's been on the show, definitely swears by his. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know if I would replace a an M4 by any means, no. but. Um, one thing I do want to note, these are not P mags or M4 mags, just yeah. because they don't take the same, they don't secure in the way an M4 magazine would. Yeah, that would be they, nice. They clip in right back here. Yeah. So it would be nice if it had interchangeability. Right. Mm. So, so you could put a big mitten hand in the, in the trigger guard, <laughs> yeah. that's something. Yeah. Mm. Pretty kind nifty. Not much else to say about it. Yeah. It's what, what else do we bring? Now, this is the one I'm excited about. <clears throat> grab that one. Yep. There you go. So, in addition to the AUG, we also brought in this dope ass HK UMP, which uh, we, we got the MP5 on the wall. We've played with it and talked about it before, and we just kind of wanted to have it up there with it because it's sort of the godfather of the UMP. Um, right. Of course, the MP5 is known for its roller roller delayed blowback operation which it kind of invented, and this is just a strict blowback, but this one, you actually, you got your folding stock, and you can actually do a legit HK slap. 
yeah. which is so satisfying. Yeah. Um, Chambered in 45. Mm -hmm. 45. So you throw a can on this, some bitch. It'd be pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Fun fact: I always like to drop James Bond references in this show, and I'm super jazzed to check out No Time to Die this Friday. Um, Daniel Craig's first Bond James Bond line from Casino Royale. He had just shot a dude with a UMP. Yep. It was a suppressed one. He's wearing a dope suit, and it was pretty gangster. The name's Bond. James Bond. Um, what, yeah. what kind of modes you got there? Oh, I got modes for days. It's uh, fully amphibious, as Tyler would say, or ambidextrous to people who are literate. Um, semi, two-round burst, and full auto. Um, I haven't shot the two-round burst on this, and I'm kind of excited to. It seems seems kind of fun. Just do double taps on steel for days. Definitely. Um, one thing I will say is we alluded to it last week in our game show, but the FUDs are going to hate this gun just because it's plastic. There is a lot of plastic, and that's one thing I was worried about with the HK slaps is right here around the charging handle is plastic, and I wonder if you can if you HK slap it enough, which a lot of people say you're not supposed to do it that way, yeah. but... I wonder if that would ever wear out the plastic, but or crack it or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I fully intend to only ever HK slap it every time exactly. I touch it. Exactly, you have to. Ah, ah, missed it. <laughs> Why don't you play with it for a minute? Yeah. So, um, I wish they maintained the um, the barrel rear sight. I always thought right. that was super cool looking on the MP5, and they work really well. Right. It's just got just kind of standard. Aperture. Yeah, two two apertures, kind of like your. Kind of like your M16, yeah, M4 style. I believe it's adjustable, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Front sight is completely fixed. Plenty of pick rail in the front and room for all your uh, accessories you would need, laser beams and lights, and we put a little right. Magpul foregrip up on it just for good measure. You can probably you can shoot this folded good in you. Yeah. You absolutely can shoot it folded. Yeah. They made a point of cutting out in the stock so it can still eject, which that's pretty cool. This would be a pretty that's cool a comp backpack, compact yeah. little package, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael, please. You know? Hey now. <laughs> Stop it. So. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. So I had an idea mm -hmm. for a marketing gimmick that I think HK should jump on. And um, who's our favorite uh, MAGA fella in the comment section always telling how much he's a Donald Trump boy? Oh, Barfo? Yeah, Barfo be commenting every video he's talking about how trump's his favorite president and i was thinking you right here you got an hk ump but if you made this some bitch in gold threw a bunch of maga references it's already in 45 then you got yourself not an hk ump a tr ump That'd be just for Barfo and Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, mm, but if you ever get your get a chance to get your hands on one of these, do it. I'm yeah. super jazzed that we have this in the office now. Yeah, jo our job's a little fun. At yeah. Times. <laughs> it was like when 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 the FedEx man comes, you yeah, everyone just kind of abandons their desks to come see what new toys are coming in yeah and and this was a good day when both of these came in or i guess they came a couple days apart yeah but. i mean it's a nice little break from the the shit storm of mm -hmm. gun control that we're dealing with on yep. a daily basis and you know we're gonna continue to fight all that crap but mm -hmm. we we gotta have an outlet sometimes mm -hmm. so it's got kind of a ar style um bolt release and you can lock the bolt to the rear like that but I, would you ever want to do that when you have the ability to hk slap i mean no but if you're it's hard to it's hard to read or to read to reach dude can't read <laughs> um but i mean you think about it that's easier for reloads because it's got the same same type of I know. training as an ar i suppose but it's just so Manual much of arms, it's so much say. cooler to oh i know ah. Now it's kicking my ass because we're on TV, I know. <laughs> but super nifty. Very. I don't know, you got anything else to say about the, the HK UMP? No, I can't wait to shoot it. Yeah, I'm super jazzed. So stay tuned. Um, comment below. Tell Dudley to let me and Tyler play with these toys very soon.
Yeah, and we'll share it with yeah. you guys. Yeah, we'll share it with you. We'll get you some good footage. If you have anything uh, fun you'd like to see Tyler and I do with the UMP or the AUG or any of the other guns you see on it on the uh, Tap Rack Bang Show, let us know because because we want to do those kinds of things. Yes, please. Yeah, we need we need some range footage. I know it's something the show's been needing, and we want to give that to you. Definitely. But, yeah, to sum things up, we got some cool new toys here, but the real purpose of today's show was definitely to expose all of the Republican surrender monkeys in the House of Representatives who betrayed gun owners, specifically military gun owners, yes. which pisses me off even more. But, um, yeah, Call the call the Capitol switchboard. Call some of these sons of bitches who betrayed us, and give them a piece of your mind. Don't be threatening. Don't be stupid. But let them know that the pro gun voters in America were paying attention, and they don't get a pass for this one. They're gonna try and weasel their way out. They're already making all kinds of dumbass excuses. Yeah. Um, they they, they, need, they need to know that a vote against the Second Amendment could kill their chances of getting reelected. Yeah, and and signing a letter, which I think. About a hundred something of these cats already did signing some big letter saying we oppose red flag in the NDAA after you already voted for the frickin' bill. That's just like the weakest, stupidest, like most Washington DC bullshit move that I've ever seen in my life. And if they think like, okay, we're good because you signed a letter saying you don't like the gun control you voted for, you could blow that shit out your ass because I'm not having it. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. So make your calls. Be a pro gun bully. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You know, if if you're slapping a tap rack bang sticker on your vehicle or your sister or whatever you like to do, earn that shit. Yep. It's a badge of honor. And, uh, yeah, be a pro-gun bully today by making your phone calls. Tyler, where else can they go to support the cause? Then go down the description box. We got, again, we got the links for uh, to help out the organization, help us out, you know, make the show better. You also go visit our foundation's website, help them out there. They're defending gun owners in the courts, you know, amicus briefs, Supreme Court cases, all that stuff. Um, you can also become a frontline defender and, uh, you know, get your free flag. And Christian is pointing at his shirt to tell me to do something. Yeah, we got new merch. Oh yeah, we got new merch. So that yeah, stay hopefully, the hell tuned. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, we'll, really cool stuff. Yeah, we'll designed some, here in house. Yeah, like if you're a pro gun bully, if you're a Magnum Pack and Patriot, you're gonna be wanting to rock some of this gear to the range. Yes, definitely. So definitely stay tuned for that and check out our gear store. Yep. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that Liberty Bell. Give Joe Biden a good pantsing, mm. please. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Thank you. Later.